Welcome to Let's Play Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit Episode 17. And where it is now time for race number 5 of the uh, expert tournament in this game, as of which we are now heading over to Country Woods. And ultimately, I'm not going to drive this thing in my next colour, which is yellow. And will I manage to win or not? You'll just have to wait and find out. But anyways, let's now review the track info for Country Woods, because this is what I basically do throughout the LP. Buckle up! This remains a high-speed course, moving away from rolling farmlands to more challenging country roads and backwoods driving. Heads up! A high-speed jump will send you rocketing into a deep corner in this area. Take it easy on the gas and watch your line. This series of 180-degree turns will keep you sharp. Attack them at high speed with strong cornering technique. They vary in width, depth, and arc. Five sudden right-angle turns can be tackled without sacrificing speed if you've mastered power sliding. Interesting bits of track info there. Anyways, we are now at the halfway point of the tournament, so let's head over to race number five and see if we can continue to limit the damage. Considering I now have two wins on the schedule and we still have four races left, so hopefully at the very least I can manage to win three, maybe even four races, if I am good enough. But let's wait and see what happens. Three, two, one, go! And already off to a reasonable start. This is more or less what I thought I was going to get. This uh, sort of circuit, and oddly enough, I actually like this yellow. This yellow is actually is actually uh, pretty nice, in my honest opinion. It definitely gives this car a standout image compared to uh, all the others, in my honest opinion. At least if I'm. Uh, talking about honesty and is not trying to fake it. And now everyone just pulls ahead of me. Go fuck yourself. Well, I would say I pretty much have a uh, Four-point lead in the championship up to this point, and it looks as though Blazing this time is now taking the lead. So I did have a feeling one of the other Jags would eventually would eventually spread their wings and fly away from me. Considering Country Woods has not really been one of my more favourable tracks, but it's fine because there's only really one opponent I have to worry about at the present time, and that opponent is Ice, who is now right behind me. Oh, shit, that's a fence. Gotta be very careful through there. Anyways, I'm up into second position, and the man who is now behind me is Bullet. Whilst I uh, continue to Hold on to second position. Looks as though Blazing looks as though Blazing has now pulled away from the rest of us. Of course, I have proven that I don't need to win every race in order to win the tournament. I just need to focus on consistency. And oddly enough, consistency for the past two races has been on my side because, well, I won both of them. So, I think Blazing by now is probably long gone, but again, 
I'm still in the fight for second, and I'm gonna do whatever it damn well takes to officially secure that fucking second position. Because that is what I do. And so, we continue. The battle continues for the expert tournament. It is a good thing I managed to win the previous two races. Because if I didn't, then I would be under a lot more pressure. But, for me, fortuitously, that is not proving to be the case. About as we're really set up as it might be, all I need to do is just be more consistent than I set the end of the tournament and then basically the championship overall is mine, pretty much. Or whatever it is you uh, want to call it. Ice is now ahead of me once again. Really cannot allow that to happen too much, as which I am still engaged in a fight for a reason. I have to fight in order to win the championship. It's as though the fight for second is only going to be between myself and Ice up to this point. And I am going to beat the lap you record. You beat the lap record! Lap 3! And that just confirms it. I have officially beaten the lap record. Even though Blazing is clearly much faster than the lap record compared to the rest of us, probably. But again, at least I can say I'm still competitive enough to uh, fight for... At least I can say I'm still competitive enough to fight for... ...second position, the way it looks at the moment. There's only really one man I need to focus on staying ahead of at the moment, and that is Ice. And, yeah, where, where the fuck did everyone else come from? Has everyone just decided to drive Jags or something? I think they have. Well, it's a good thing the pack is closely bunched up, because if they weren't, then... I would be in a much more... Then, technically, I would be in a much more... Then, technically, I would be in a much more precarious situation. I think everyone has just decided to drive Jags up to this point. It's basically just become a Jag one make up to this point. I think... Just to try and see if everyone else can improve their positions. And probably why the pack from... Uh, oh! I just wrecked ice. I have no remorse over that because because I know for sure he would have probably done the same thing to me. Considering I did mention before, these AI literally do not give a shit if you're alive or dead. And they will try and murder you. If they get any opportunities in the world, then they will try and murder you. I can guarantee it. They will try and murder you. If they have any shots in the world of doing it, then they will. Believe me. I know. Believe me. I know this purely from previous experience, it's the final lap. along with instinct. Yeah, 10 seconds. Okay. So, I think I've got virtually no chance of winning up to this point. But again, as long as I can hold on to seconds, that's pretty much all I care about. I mean, I've already won two out of 
the last three races, so it really doesn't matter if I finish in third or lower up to this point. It's just as long as I can stay ahead of Ice. He's the only... He is the only competitor I really need to... I really need to be concerned about. I should have shifted down when I was in the hairpin, but somehow I didn't. Also, furthermore, that hairpin there is is kind of like the uh, Lowe's hairpin at Monaco in some cases. It is kind of like the Lowe's hairpin in some cases. If you've watched the Monaco Grand Prix, that's more or less what I think that uh, hairpin turn is. Uh, reminiscent of. At least, you know, if you can uh, adamantly attest to that sort of setting. And I'm now down to third. And I'm still fighting. And fighting is all I can really do up to this point. He really was trying to force me off course, but I was not having it. He knew I was not going to lift. I basically chose to just keep myself with my foot locked in position on the throttle just to keep myself in second. And this could prove beneficial because even though this is a closely packed battle, at the very least, I am able you placed second! I have managed to solidify second amidst all of the final lap chaos which occurred in those final couple of corners. Congratulations! You've got a top 10 time for this track! Okay. And I also beat the lap record. Congratulations! You beat the lap record for this track! Alright. So. Kingstone still holds the uh, overall record here in the uh, four-lap race of Country Woods. I have, of course, placed in second, considering I did also uh, set a new lap record. Top speed of 191, average lap speed of 2 minutes and 30 seconds, pretty much. Arcade style, forward direction, and also... It was a tournament race. And now I'm going to <coughs> get some clickbait because that is what I do for these video thumbnails. So, now I focus on the thumbnail. So yeah, I think once Blazin took the lead, he basically just dominated the rest of this race. But again, I really wasn't under any pressure because I had two wins upon the season up to that point, and as a result of Ice once again being inconsistent compared to me, ultimately, I did manage to officially crucify second position. In this race. And yep, I am not wrong. Everyone has suddenly decided to drive Jags. Probably because they thought it was the only car that could actually win the tournament up to this point. And like I said, it's basically just become a one-make for the Jag XJR15. More or less. 
is uh, what I think this basically is. Even though it could just be me, but that's more or less what I think it is. So, you know, there is that. That is one wide hairpin, which I just saw there, pretty much on the face of the mountain. enough my intellect have actually proven to benefit to me. Yeah, I think that'll uh, conclude it for the thumbnail shots. I think I got some uh, reasonable shots there of, uh, of my jag. And so, these are the point standings after five races. So I now hold an eight point lead over Bullet. Blazin is in third. Ice has officially dropped back to fourth. Terra is looking to clearly solidify fifth position up to this point. Swerve has pretty much solidified 6th position, and we now have a tiebreaker, well, two point tiebreakers, between Blazin and Ice, and also Carcass and Tad. And next time we shall be doing Lost Canyons. But until then, I shall see you in the next episode of Hot Pursuits.